you know, I want to ask you, when I think about when you were young and you talked about your peers, Terrence Blanchard, Donald Harrison, your brother Branford, of course, and, and, and Delphio, how did all this greatness come out of New Orleans right at the same time? What was happening there that was, at that time? That was my daddy. Yeah. I mean, they didn't, we, most of them didn't want to play jazz. <laughs> I was telling Andre that we, I remember yeah. being, and my daddy could not get from there to the blackboard before they would start playing funk tunes. Right, 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 right. So we all played in funk bands. Well, I played in funk bands. For somebody your age, that would have been the, like the, the greatest gig you could have hoped to get would be with Earth, Wind, and Fire. Because right. they had best, the best horn parts. The best horn parts. Right. That's right. We would stay up learning those horn parts. So my daddy would be talking about now's the time or bebop, and we're like, man, this stuff is hard to play. We could do, play these pentatonic skills on this. That's right. And we don't have to do all of that. And we got our dance steps, and we got our afros, and we cute. Yeah. Back in that time, why well, am I sit up learning how to play on chord changes yeah, when right. our music don't even have progressions? Yeah, right. And you know, the musicians were not really that serious, even though you know Terrence and yes went on, we, right. we became serious. As, but I can remember in high school, I was really the most serious one, and I'm not saying it because I'm talking. I was about pl trying to learn how to play. Not for any philosophical reason. I just wondered if you could still play. Right. You know, I listen like Clifford Brown and somebody said, man, why do people not play like this guy plays? Right, or, right. It seems so far, so long ago, even though it's 1974, that seemed like 200 years from 1956. Right, right. Because we had passed through the civil rights movement and all of that. And I think, really, my father, Kid Jordan, Alvin Batiste, it was an older generation of musicians who had struggled and who were disappointed in how stuff had turned out. Right, right. But they invested in us. 